Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you an easy 15 minute follows ballroom hairstyle that works for any of the four ballroom styles. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are the supplies that you'll see used throughout this video. We have them broken into required, recommended, and decoration supplies. So the supplies you want to make sure that you have are a scarf. Um, I recommend a smooth silk scarf with no holes that can get caught on jewelry. Um, you'll want to have the got to be glued gel and hairspray. Um, both of these are very important because they form a super um, sturdy structure for the hair that won't fall apart after a day or two of dancing. Um, I also recommend getting a softer styling gel that doesn't harden quite as fast as the got to be glued because that allows you to structure before you add the got to be glued. Um, I also recommend having a rat tail comb for this hairstyle as well as a normal hairbrush, some bobby pins and hair ties for forming the bun, and then a hairnet that will go over the bun to kind of keep all of those stray strands together, and then a hair dryer for solidifying all the gel and hairspray once you are finalized with the hairstyle. As for recommended supplies, the two things I'd recommend for this hairstyle would be alligator clips for securing the twist at the front while you're doing the bun section, and then a fine bristle smoothing comb to just kind of make sure all those flyaways are tucked into the main hair. Um, and then for optional decoration supplies, you can kind of have a wide variety of this. I tend to use kind of jeweled bridal hair combs that you can just stick into the hair, um, some jeweled bobby pins, you can have large stones or sparkles, and you can apply these with Elmer's glue or um, eyelash glue. And then I have some crystal hair twisters, which are really nice and easy to put into the hair. They're super easy. You just twist them in and you're good to go. So that is my recommended supplies. Um, let's get started with the video. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of smooth back all the hair so that it is towards the back of the head. Um, this should be kind of slicked back so it's easy to form into that ponytail that we'll be putting the hair into um, a little bit later in the video. And then here you see I pick up that rat tail comb. Um, I kind of section out a small piece of the front. You want to make sure this is not um, right down the middle. Kind of have it over to one side and then bring it across and to the other side. You really want to make these lines as straight as possible. You'll see I kind of try to do it multiple times. Um, it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Um, I didn't do a great job of keeping the line straight here, but for demo purposes it works. Um, just try to make sure that line is as straight as you can get it. Once you have that section, you're just going to kind of brush it out and then you're going to twist it a little bit and then either use an alligator clip to Keep that in position or um, use a hair tie or have the person that is sitting for this hairstyle um, hold on to that piece while you work on the rest. So once you have that sectioned out, you're going to smooth all of that hair um, that is not in that loop back and secure it into a ponytail. This is going to be kind of the form of the bun. You really want to be sure that it's not too low on the neck because if you have dance ballroom, you know, um, especially with the smooth and standard styles, you kind of have to go out and back. Um, so you want to make sure that this hairstyle will be comfortable when the follows head is at a slight back angle, um, just so that it's not putting pressure on their neck as they're dancing. And I go in first with um, some of that softer gel, that fructus um, styling gel. This just allows for a little bit more smoothing before I go in with the really, really hard scale um, got to be glued gels. Kind of want to make sure that gets all over, get all those flyaways, especially near the front. Just going to keep kind of applying until you have enough gel that you can kind of start to smooth and pull that hair directly back into that ponytail. And you'll see here, I'm just kind of keeping it in the ponytail and brushing all that hair straight back into that ponytail. With ballroom, you really want this as smooth and slicked back as possible. 
So it's really important to try to get any bumps and um, kind of wavy hairs all straight back into that bun for this hairstyle especially. So now that we kind of have our base, we're gonna take our got to be glued gel and we're gonna start on the front of the hairline and slowly work our way back. Um, so you'll notice I'm applying a pretty heavy layer. Um, this is very typical for ballroom hair. We tend to have a lot of product because we generally will sleep in these hairstyles for at least one night, if not two. Um, so it's really important that this is a very solid, um, unmovable structure. And again, going back in with that comb and smoothing it all back towards that ponytail. This will really just create that slick appearance. And if you do have that smoothing comb, this is where I recommend pulling that out. Um, this just really helps to make all of those, any bumps and flyaways kind of just disappear. Again, we're gonna get a little bit more gel, kind of keep going around the head. Very, very thick layers here. Trying to make sure to get as close to that hairline as possible to really make sure that no flyaways are present when the final hair is complete. Again, getting that brush, smoothing it all straight back into that ponytail. Really want to make sure to get around the ears, um, put lots of gel along the front of the hairline and around the ears because that is where we typically have those baby hairs that can cause flyaways and kind of a frizzy appearance to ballroom hair, which we really do not want, especially for kind of these more sleek, um, slicked back hairstyles. And you'll notice I'm kind of jumping in and out. I'll be gone for a little while here. Um, that is to wash my hands because it is very hard to work with sticky hands and hair at the same time. So I highly recommend doing this by a sink, um, in either in a bathroom or a kitchen. And then once all that kind of front section is sleeked back, um, you're gonna want to take the ponytail out and rebrush the bottom because you'll notice there'll be some bumps um, from when you were taking that comb and brushing back towards that ponytail. Again, make sure that the ponytail is not too low, that it is interfering with the follow's ability to do leftwardness in their smooth and standard dances. Here, we're just gonna keep kind of continuing with that gel. Um, you're gonna start again by the hairline and it's just gonna work all the way down until you get to where that ponytail is. Um, you just wanna make sure everything is gelled very, very well um, to make sure that it withstands all of your intense dancing days. And you'll notice that this is a white gel. Um, as you apply it to the hair and dry it, it will turn clear so you will not see um, that white gel once the final hairstyle is complete. Again, making sure to pull back all those flyaways by the ears and hairline. It's a really important step. Go wash your hands again, because you're probably far too sticky to mess with hair today. Again, you're gonna want to take that rat tail comb and smooth all the hair back down into that ponytail. Just make sure kind of every, every hair is a straight line from wherever it is all the way right back to that ponytail. Once I get to this stage, I like to pull the ponytail out one last time. Um, it's basically gelled all the way up to that ponytail, um, but this just makes sure that there's no bumps right at that ponytail. So we're gonna go ahead and put that ponytail in one last time. 
And then the base for this hairstyle is done. Um, all of the hairs except for on that front and in the actual ponytail are completely gelled down. Um, they are not going to move. They are very, very slicked back, um, very sleek looking. Just one more time, making sure all of those hairs by the ear are kind of tucked back, sleeked back, um, not going to cause any irritation or distraction while they're dancing. All right, now that we have the kind of structure of the hair, we're going to form the twist that is kind of the accent piece for this hairstyle. So again, I like to start with that softer gel to kind of give it a little bit of a structure while not making it be completely slicked back um, with the got to be glued. So want to make sure all of those hairs are kind of in alignment and then we're just going to slowly twist it. I always twist away from the front of the face um, just to kind of create a little bit more of a um, swoop at the front instead of kind of creating that that gap up in the front. We're going to take another hair tie and we're going to twist that around both this new twisted piece and the base of the ponytail. Once you have that in place, um, because there's this weird divide between that twisted piece and the original ponytail, I like to pull out the hair tie from the first ponytail we made and just leave the one in that we put in after we did the twisted piece. That just makes sure it's a little bit more um, slick, a little bit more cohesive, you don't have kind of two little ponytails together. All right, and then once we have that twist all the way back into the ponytail, we are going to work on forming the bun section. Um, kind of ignored in this video, but my bun is a little bit off center. Um, I was doing this on the side to avoid getting in the way of the camera, so was not able to fully do that, but you'll want to make sure this is as centered as possible. So before you start forming the bun, you're going to want to make sure you have expanded and pulled out one of your hair nets. Um, the hair nets are a really important part of the bun because they help control any of the flyaways. And then again, we're going to go in with that softer gel as just a little bit of a structure before we fully gel um, this bun section. And there are a bunch of different ways you can do the bun. Um, some people prefer to tease it and make it a little bit bigger. Um, personally, I like to just twist it, make kind of a ballet-esque bun. Um, I just think it's easier and looks a lot sleeker. Then you're going to take your bobby pins and put just a couple in to kind of hold it in place as you start to kind of form the bun and work with the uh, hairnet. Alright, and then we're going to grab our hairnet and we're going to kind of pull it across one side. And then you're going to want to make sure all the hairs are inside and then slowly twist it in the direction you twisted the bun. And you're just going to pull it over the bun, cross the pieces like so, and then pull it back over the bun and continue to do that until it is small enough that you cannot get it back over the bun again. So see, I just do that a couple times. And then once you get it to that smaller stage, you can just kind of tuck it in the direction of the bun. Um, and then you're going to want to put in a lot of bobby pins. This should be a very, very secure bun. It should not be able to move when the follow um, shakes their head or moves their head. Um, you also want to be sure when you're doing this that you tell the person whose hair you're doing if they feel any pokes or pain um, when you're putting in these bobby pins to immediately let you know. Bobby pins can get very, very uncomfortable. Um, you know, 
a day or two into dancing when they've just kind of continually been poking at that same spot. So we really want to make sure this is a very comfortable hairstyle right from the beginning. And you probably want to start by just putting in some bobby pins um, that kind of hold the bottom of the bun in and put that hairnet in place. And then you can kind of work to push that bun back towards the head a little bit to kind of hide the hairnet base a little bit. Um, and then make sure you put just a ton of bobby pins in. Um, I like to put some that go through the hair tie inside to add a little extra stability, some that are kind of on the base of the head, just a variety, but make sure you put a lot of bobby pins in. And again, a great test for this is to have them shake their head. If it stays in one place and they don't feel it move, you're good to go. And then following that, we're going to spray the heck out of this hairstyle. Um, so you're gonna start again at the crown of the head if possible, and then slowly just work your way across the whole head, um, smoothing and making sure there are no kind of droplets the droplets, if you don't smooth them out, can be seen a little bit. Um, so you're going to want to make sure to kind of brush this hair, um, kind of smooth it down, make sure everything is um, kind of absorbed into the hair. And another thing with this is um, the Got To Be Glued Hairspray is kind of hard to breathe um, around. So you're going to want to make sure your follow is either um, holding their breath while you're spraying, or I like to use a mask like the type, um, like the cloth COVID masks work great, um, but make sure you're allowing your follow time to kind of breathe in between sprays. So you'll notice there's sometimes I just stop for a second um, and let her take a couple breaths. Also, I don't show it in this video, but you would want to put a lot more gel and hairspray on the bun. So once you've got that all sprayed down, that is kind of the structure of the hairstyle. You can end there if you want. Um, I'm going to show you with a little Bit of decoration in the hairstyle as well though. So here I'm using one of those kind of bridal combs. You just kind of push it into the hair a little bit and then I like to secure the kind of wings of the hairpiece with some bobby pins to just make sure nothing is moving when I'm doing those um, fancy like twists and turns, um, especially in rhythm and Latin. They're very sharp uh, so you want to make sure that's very secured to the head. Again, having them shake them, their head is a great way to see if that is going to stay in place. The next thing I'm going to be adding is some of those crystal twisters I talked about. Um, so these are really easy to use. They literally just have some wire and a twist and you just turn them, um, I believe it's in a clockwise manner, um, into the hair and they just kind of sit there. They're really easy to put in. Um, again, make sure that these are not poking the follow. Um, these get very, very uncomfortable if they are poking when you put this hairstyle in, because after a day of dancing, you know, maybe a night of sleeping in them, they um, shift a little bit and they can poke if they were originally poking. So I'm just gonna kind of put them in right along the top of that twisted piece, um, kind of as an accent and to highlight the fact that there is that twisted piece there. You can also put these in um, over the bun if you want kind of a studded bun look. You can put these um, in the main hairstyle, kind of all over the place. You can do designs with these, um, just a bunch of different options. And then next up, I'm going to show you how to kind of put in those larger stones and sparkles. Um, so I'm using Elmer's glue in this video. I'm not actually putting it on just for the ease of washing this out. Um, but you'd put a little bit on the hairline there and then you would push that um, piece into the Elmer's glue. Um, you, this particular piece looks really good if put on the part at the front. So that is what I am showing in this video. For the video, I'm putting a bobby pin in since I didn't glue it um, and I want this to stay in place. Normally, I would not put in a bobby pin here. Um, and then you just want to let that dry before you have the follow move their head at all. So that's kind of the final hairstyle. Again, if there's any flyaways, use some hairspray, kind of slick it all back. Um, but that is the final hairstyle. And then with this, you're going to want to make sure to take um, that hair dryer and kind of dry everything 
And then once everything's dry, you can wrap it in a silk scarf and that will be fine for sleeping in or um, just kind of spending your day in and then take the scarf out and you're ready to compete. So that is the end of my 15 minute video. I hope you all enjoyed this.